man, what is good with y'all boys on YouTube? Today I will be showing you the best 7 foot build in NBA 2K23. Hey man, this build is insane. Hey man, you could just see what I'm doing on this build, you feel me? Season 2 just dropped, so let me know what you guys think of the level 40 reward. Before we get too far into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and a comment man. It will help me out a lot. But hey, I'll be showing y'all this crazy build right now. So without a further ado, let's get right into it. The verse of the day today is Psalms 119 verse 11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Amen. Make sure that you guys are reading your Bibles every single day, not just getting it from here or from someone else. Make sure that you are reading the Bible for yourself and hiding it in your own heart because it is way easier to avoid sin when we know the word of God. All right, so we're here in the builder first. You want to make the position center and press continue now for the height go seven foot weight 250 and wingspan 75 the wingspan is at a 75 so that i could get a high three-pointer just because i want to be shooting the best i can now for the attribute upgrades i went with the 80 driving layup i went with an 88 driving dunk that's very important right there because when you do unlock contact dunks I got an 80 standing dunk as well, and I have 16 potential badge points in my finishing. And the cool thing about this build, we have Limitless Takeoff on gold as a tier 1 badge, so we could get that off rip, and we have Post Riser on silver as a tier 2 badge. So right off the gate, you can be dunking on people with this build. For shooting, we have an 86 3-pointer, man. That is literally higher than most builds this year, and we're 7 foot. For our playmaking, we put our pass accuracy at a 60, and our ball handle and speed with ball at max. Now for the defense, this is where this build really becomes an X factor. We already unlocked contact dunks and have 86 3 points, but we also have 26 defensive badge points, which is insane. So we're gonna have a 93 interior defense, 54 perimeter defense, a 66 steal, that's max, 93 block to unlock gold anchor, 68 offensive rebound, which doesn't really matter to me, and a 98 defensive rebound, which is insane. And with all this, we still have amazing physicals, maxed out our speed, maxed out acceleration, 70 strength, 75 vertical so that we can unlock contact dunks, and a 97 stamina. For the takeovers, we unlock a lot of takeovers. I went with sharp take and paint takeover. These shades are crazy right here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Joel B, Chris Stapps, and Anthony Davis. Now here we have it. We have built a two-way inside-out score. Hey man, looking at this build name, you don't know what it can do. You feel me? It's really gonna confuse some people this year. I would do something like this for my finishing. I literally don't even want or need any tier 3 badges on this build. Like I said, this build is insane because we already have posterizer off rip and limitless takeoff off rip. I'd do something like this for my shooting, something like this for playmaking, and I'll do this for my defense. Hey man, like I said, this build is insane. Honestly, when I thought of making a seven foot player, I thought I was gonna have to sacrifice a lot of shooting, maybe even my finishing. But as you saw me make that build just now, we sacrificed really nothing and we still came out with a demi build. Hey man, let me know what you guys think of this build in the comment section below. Drop a like if this video helped you out at all and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.